Hello, my name is Rob, and today we're going to be making ham, cheese, and spinach pinwheels. So let's get going. So you're going to want to preheat your oven to 220 degrees Celsius, or that's 200 degrees fan. Then you're going to need a baking sheet, and we're going to line this with parchment paper. Next, you're going to need some pre-made puff pastry, and this is the light version. Now you can make your own puff pastry, but this is going to save you time and be equally as delicious. We're going to be rolling this up in the end, so it doesn't really matter if it doesn't quite fit on your tray. Now to our pastry sheet, you're going to have 60 grams of low-fat cream cheese, and we're going to spread a thin layer all over that, leaving a one centimeter gap around the edge. Don't forget to scrape your spoon, get all that extra cream cheese off. Perfect. Now on top of your low-fat cheese, you're going to need 30 grams of cheddar cheese, and I have used the smallest grater on here because I find that the cheese goes a lot further. So you want to sprinkle your 30 grams of cheese on top of your other cheese. Next, you're going to need 40 grams of baby spinach leaves. Now what I've done is I've washed it and removed the stalks. And what you need to do is you need to try and get them as dry as possible. Because what's going to happen is any excess moisture that's on the leaves is going to make your pastry really, really wet. And we do not want wet pastry. And on top of both the cheeses, we're going to now lay the spinach leaves. Again, remember to leave that one centimeter space around the outside because we're going to need that to roll it up. Then on top of the spinach, we're going to use 50 grams of lean ham sliced up into slices. Now you can use any ham you want, but just make sure that any visible fat is removed as this is not going to help you lose weight. I've gone for long strips, but you can chop them up into smaller bits if you want. It's just that I was thinking once we roll it up, the ham might go a bit further making sure that every pinwheel is going to have some ham in it as well. Next to go on, we're going to put one quarter teaspoon of garlic granules. And season with salt and pepper. Now here comes the interesting bit. So you want to get one end of your long side of your pastry and you're gonna roll it up into a bit of like a Swiss roll. Not too bad, not too bad. Now in hindsight, the two ends here, you kind of wanna put filling all the way to the edges, otherwise here is gonna be very, very empty. What I would do is leave a gap from one long edge and then make sure the rest of the pastry is full with filling because then you're not going to have wastage on the ends. We need to get 16 portions out of this long sausage. Then you want to put your pinwheels onto your parchment paper. So you may need to just tuck the filling back in a little bit because once we've cut them, they are starting to spill out, but you can just tap them back into the sides and they'll be absolutely perfect. So these then go into the oven for around about 15 to 20 minutes, making sure they are golden brown. And there they are, cheese, ham, and spinach pinwheels. Really good. And if you enjoyed this video, check out my other Slimming Lunches playlist.